Okay. So now you know that there's, you're gonna, how many of us have given a brilliant million dollar presentation to the wrong person besides me? <laughs> so many times, so many times. You give this 45 minutes on the phone. Oh, this is great. It's wonderful. Um, I've got to run it up the flag. You know, I'm not the person who makes that decision. And it's like your heart just breaks, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Claude, it to to sort of check what I'm what I'm what I'm seeing here. It looked to me like when they're when they're looking to drag it out, what we're doing is, is we're leading them back into qualification questions to, to see if we can't tack it down. Bring it, bring it in. And you can stroke and nurture your way into that. You know, Ben, cool. you know, Ben, you really know what you're talking about. There's an obvious, you know, um, it's obvious. You, you've been, how long you've been with this company, Ben? Uh, about two years. I could, gosh, so, you know, you sound like you've been with them for 22 years, man. I could thank learn. You. So, I, could I, learn I, so I take it seriously. Thank you. You know what I love about my job? I learned so much by talking to people like you. You're, you're probably, are you the, are you the decision maker in this, uh, in this uh, adventure we're talking about here? Uh, I'm not. Oh, okay. I appreciate your honesty. Mm -hmm. how, what's the first, you know, I, I think on a one through 10, how do you feel about my product or service uh, in terms of making? I, 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 I think it's the choice for us. Absolutely. Okay. Now off the role play, this is something I haven't taught you guys yet. It's one of my, I don't think I've ever, I don't know if I have it in front of me in my cards. Have you guys, have I ever spoke to you guys about rehearsal? No. When you, I'll save this for another time, but I'll real brief. When you have a situation when you're not dealing with the decision maker, they have to go to somebody else or they have to go to a spouse. You do something called a rehearsal with them where you give them basically the three to six emotional bullet points and you okay. tell them how to present it to their boss. Okay, and uh, we don't have any, uh, uh, just really quick. Ben, you know what? You told me this is the problem you have. Uh, your company uh, needs to get a new location. Uh, you need to be saving some money on your monthly overhead. And uh, if I was you, when you go to your boss, these are the three, four things that I would bring up about how this piece of property will save you money, how it'll appreciate, how their tax benefits tied to it. And if you okay. like, I could, would you like me to send you a quick outline with some bullet points? to help you uh, with your boss? That'd be so helpful, great idea. Okay, boom. Does he love me now? Yes, because okay. I don't have to look like a jackass, they're your questions. That's called a rehearsal. Someone <laughs> remind me on, um, on uh, our next time we do this, uh, do more rehearsals, they're really good. Dave, last call. I, did, I just had a quick thing on the, um, the three things of charm. When you're going back and forth, would you use scarcity in there? Like, sure. um, yeah, you know, hey, th this house, I've already got three offers on the house. I know you guys want to wait till January, um, but by then it could be gone. Yeah, use scarcity, social proof, and, and a little bit of nurture. Dave, you know what? It's okay. Yeah, and a redirection would be really great here. Okay. Sales is it sales is tough. You got to remember all these things we talk about. Mm -hmm. you remember all this yeah. stuff. So, right. You know what, Dave? It's it's okay. I, I'm not a I'm not a pressure salesperson. If you're not comfortable or whatever. It's okay to say no to me. Don't worry. I've got so many people calling, and, and somebody's going to grab this thing. Unfortunately, I, I I thought it was perfect for you and your family. It fit you. You told me it fit in your budget. It was right near the schools where your kids go. Um, you know it's going to appreciate and everything. And you've been waiting years for a location like this. But maybe in another five, ten years, something like this will come up again. So don't worry about it. There's no yeah. way we can. There's no. I mean, you, are you sure about? I. You know what the thing that bothers me? We're going to get off this phone, and I'm going to. Wor I'm worried that you're going to have a lot of regrets. Why do I feel that way? You know, you make a good point. Let me talk to my wife. I'll call you back by four o'clock today. It's got to be. So, I hate to. I hate to do this. Maybe you sure we shouldn't just say it's over. No, I'm. I, I agree it's with over. you. Don't worry about it. We're still friends. Don't worry, man. It's okay. You want to go to the Denver game with me? 
Uh, uh, oh, you a Bronco? Are you a Bronco fan? <laughs> can I can I can I wear my MAGA? I bleed hat? I bleed blue and orange. Okay, can I wear my MAGA hat and Trump T-shirt too? Absolutely. <laughs> but I'm going to convert you to the 49ers. So, Bring, so get, get yourselves around. This was a good session, guys. Are you are you wrap, are you wrapping up? I was just going to say a, a couple of things that you were when you were touched on. One is I would have said, have you ever made a decision on your on your own before? Can you give me a little idea? You know, you have made some decisions independently before, right? And I'm not to push you, but, you know, you've made some decisions on your own before, right? Yeah, but this is a big one. This, I'm a little nervous. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little Okay, nervous. good. So you, so, so you absolutely would need to go. So when, when we talk again on the third, um, imagine for a moment that what happens on the fourth? Imagine if... On the fourth, you went to your people and all of this was already in place and you were moving towards the goals that you and I talked about that you felt like uh, our business could solve. Is that a decision that would move your company forward or maybe not? Well, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I really like you and I like the product and everything. I like you too. I like you too. I really like the fact that you're a Trump supporter. I just, um, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No politics. <laughs> I, I'm seriously no comment. don't touch it. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so scared of offending a prospect. I know. I don't even talk about diets, man. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna send Victor a red hoodie. <laughs> All right, David. Yeah. So anyway, I, I know you're getting off, but I just kind of wanted to, you know, because I was thinking on those terms because you, before you had you had taught us a real key thing about, you know, what happens the day after you could either be on your way to where we're, we, we talked about that you've already agreed is a great destination for you, or we could just be, you know, warming up the car, you know, which one makes more sense for you? Well, I mean, I really want to do this. I'll tell you the truth. I've made, sometimes when I make these decisions too fast, I live to regret it. Um, well, what else, what else is there that you need to know? What else can I, what area can I fill in for you? Give me a cookie. Yeah, because you, you, you know, you, you're, you're, you're a sharp guy. I'm sure you've made some great decisions for this company in the past. I'm sure you have, you know, brought value every, you know, on many occasions. And this is an opportunity for you to do it some more. So give me, give me, give me some scarcity now, Claude. It's okay. To okay. Say so, you know, here's, here's what I'm afraid of, Claude. I'm afraid that when you call me back again, that I may have to change my offer. I may have to do, you know, we may, it may not be the same uh, opportunity for us. I may not have the availability to give you what you want. So, you know, why don't we just go ahead and make our commitment now? Um, you have some guarantees here. It's not anything that's going to come back and haunt you. Um, let me go ahead and send you over the agreement. Oh. This is where I, I talked a little bit about this on Monday. So uh -huh. this is where if that, that was a perfect place for you to do a straw man. Say, Claude, don't worry about it. No pressure. You don't have to do this and everything. But let me tell you a little story about a friend of mine, a client, an article, a book I read. Nice. And, and that and that's going to get me sell me right then and there. Just let's do that real. I don't know. You know. And you say something like, you know what, uh, same situation happened to a good friend. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly where you are. And I had, I had a, a client of mine just a, a couple of months ago, and he was in exactly the same place that you are, Claude. But he went ahead and, 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 and pulled the string on this. And right now they're seeing revenues that are beyond anything they've ever seen in their company because of making that decision. And and, and I would love to see that happen for, for you, Claude. And I think like I think you're right there, Claude. I think we should just, you know, go ahead and pull the trigger on this. Let's do it. Right. All right, let's go. That's <laughs> I'll tell you what, that little move, that little straw, I call it the straw man argument. Yeah. Where you bring in an imaginary or real third party to support your 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 mm -hmm. objective yeah that could be the the last straw on the camel's back yeah that could yeah. That be the thing that i've seen this happen so many times where all of a sudden they blow, let's just do this i i you're right let's do this. would you say that falls in social proof it's it's a form of social mm -hmm. proof yes. yes i would agree with that mm -hmm. it is a it is a really subliminal subconscious so, yeah yeah yeah. 
you're going, wow, he's telling me a story and they did it and they had a yeah. happy ending. I want to be on the winning team. I'm going to do these little micro moves. Yeah. Are what your competition won't do. They're just basically here's the script, here's the features and benefits, ask for the order. Mm-hmm. The moves that we're talking about sometimes, I've seen this happen so many times. That's why I'm so emphatic about these little moves. It's just, it's just hard in the, you know, when, they, when you're in the headlights there to, oh shit, I should have done, I, oh, I did that with Claude last week. Oh, why didn't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> but, if, but the more we practice it, the more it becomes more, it becomes automatic. Fun. You know, Fun. I'm scared. I'm scared to death to go to Steve Zobro and say, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with all due respect, Claude, you're not allowed to think about it. You know? <laughs> let's, just, let, let's just say it's over. But you know what? You're still going to have that problem. Yeah. But let's just say it's over. You know, whatever. Yeah. You're going to it. Yeah. That is, you know, that but is, I, I just want to cool. say one thing, Claude. I want to thank you for all you do for, for all the times you've trained us and all the techniques. Because I tell you guys, once we start using all these, you know, and really take some time to set a time every day to practice. And maybe just like I said, get three or four or five power moves. I mean, there's so many moves out there. But if you guys can just maybe practice something you're really comfortable with, I mean, it's unbelievable that when you're on a phone with someone, you can really go into those clothes, those power moves. And, and I think what he said, get into that reciprocity, likability and trust, you know, social proof, scarcity, authority, you know, and then um, consistency. I think it was very important to have those habits every time to every day practice and practice. And I mean, on your own, I'm talking about 15, 20 minutes on your own, go in your back room and start practicing these techniques. So you get into a habit. So when you're on the phone with someone, it's just going to flow. I mean, Claude, you do. I mean, you got it down to a science. You've done it for so many years. But you, 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 you teach us. You, mistakes. But, yeah, but you motivate. <laughs> yeah, but, but you motivate us. You, you really give us some good ideas. I use a lot of those techniques. We thank God for that, really. Oh, so, and, don't, and, don't miss, and don't miss the fact that he still has his flashcards handy for, for, for reminders. And you, you right. see, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. keep them around. They're great little reminders while you're on the phone. They'll just pop out at you and light up. Right. If he ma- and if he makes a mistake, his wife won't let him go to the bathroom. I make mistakes. that part. I make mistakes. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many different things. There's so many unknown factors in the psychology of persuasion and influence. The one thing you want to do after a call, whether you, it went fantastic or it just imploded on you, do a diagnostic. Say, okay, what did I do right? What was the magic moment there? Or what did I do wrong? Or what, what could I have done better? And when you do this self-analysis after a call, you, you get better. You get 